Well, the general election of the lesser of two evils with Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton poised to be the most disliked presidential candidates in decades. So with the gloves coming off, are we about to witness the ugliest race in U.S. history? Here to weigh in is national political reporter for Real Clear Politics, Caitlin Huey Burns. Thanks for being with us at 4.15 in the morning. Good morning. We always appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for having me. So this new uh, ABC Wash Post poll, it shows just how unfavorable Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are. I think Trump mm -hmm. is 60 percent, Hillary Clinton 53 percent there. And we've already seen before the general election the attacks against each other getting mm -hmm. so nasty, getting so mm -hmm. personal. Is this uh, sort of a window into how bad it's going to get? I definitely think so. And day by day, we are seeing different kinds of attacks launched. I think this is going to be an election where uh, Democrats are turned out because of their opposition to Donald Trump, and Republicans are turned out in opposition to Hillary Clinton, which means this is going to be a highly negative mm -hmm. election. And we're seeing in polls Donald Trump closing the gap, narrowing in on Hillary Clinton. They're now in a dead heat race. So this race is going to be very competitive. The Republican Party has quickly coalesced around Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton is working on the Democratic side to do that. Once the parties are united, you bet it will be full force against Yeah, it's going to be all about who can run the better campaign and who can get out the vote. Well, you exactly. mentioned the party divide. The Democrats still looking a little divided, and it looks like it could be getting wider. Sanders waging a war against the DNC, saying he's going to stay in this thing uh, for quite some time now. We talk so much about the Republican Party maybe going mm -hmm. to a contested convention and them being divided, but here we are looking at Democrats wondering what's going on. How is this going to play out? Right. This is not something any of us had anticipated yeah. originally. But what's interesting about this is not only is Sanders staying in, putting that challenge to Clinton, that's something she can overcome. Um, the, the, the problem for her and the Democratic Party is he's waging uh, really a war against the Democratic Party at this point. Uh, he's really going after the DNC chairwoman, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, really putting the pressure on her. Several, many of his supporters want her out. He has said he would not support her. And that's problematic heading into a convention, right. which she will open. Uh, and there are calls for her uh, potentially to step down. I mean, she was hoping to have this thing locked up months ago. And right. here she is still going up against Bernie Sanders. She likes to think that she's the only one in the race at this point on the Democratic side. But where do his supporters go? Because that's what a lot of people are questioning. We saw this back in 2008 with Hillary Clinton versus Barack Obama. They ended up right. going with with President Obama, but what's right. going to happen here? Well, Democrats I talked to you point to that 2008 race saying that that was arguably more divisive and contentious than this one, mm -hmm. so they're confident the party can unite. The problem right now, of course, is that Sanders has made no uh, steps yet to uh, unite around Hillary right. Clinton. I think they really need that moment where they come together and have an event. I also think the, the problem for Democrats is that President Obama and figures like Elizabeth Warren uh, can't yet really weigh in in full force, although we are seeing Warren really go on the attack against Trump. Yeah. She'll be a key figure to watch. We'll see how this plays out. We are seeing more Republicans, though, getting behind Donald Trump. So very right. fascinating to see how all of this is playing out. Yeah. Caitlin Huey Burns, we're going to see you next Thank hour. You. Yes. So thanks for being here. Thank you. Heather, over to you.